Fly the W. The Cubs have won eight straight games in spring training. Does this mean anything at all? Find out next. You are Locked On Cubs, your daily Chicago Cubs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Alongside Sam Olber, I'm Matt Cozy, and this is Locked On Cubs, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Please support the show and be a part of the Locked On Cubs community by following and subscribing on all audio platforms. And you can watch, subscribe, and leave a comment on YouTube. Thanks so much for making us your first listen. Sam and I are lifelong fans, taking our passion into a discussion with you on all things Cubs. Opening day is three weeks away. And whenever and wherever you may be listening for a Thursday episode, we're just 21 days out at this point. Sosa. The Cubs are now nine and four in Sousa spring Jr. training action. <laughs> oh, man. Remember when Steven Sousa Jr. Junior had a coffee? Junior Lake. He wore number 21, Junior Lake. I don't know if that's true or not. Someone will have to fact. Jason Marquis, Sam. But above two. Famous number 21 since Slam and Sammy. So the, Cub, the Cubs have won eight straight games. They're nine and four in spring training action. The Cubs won 11 to seven, our first softball score of the spring, over Canada on Wednesday. Justin Steele got the start. Keegan Thompson, first out of the pen. Perhaps we'll see that. In a little over three weeks, Mark Leiter Jr. fired his fourth scoreless inning. And Cody Bellinger and Tucker Barnhart each hit home runs. Owen Casey did start for Canada in right field and made a nice throw from there uh, to nab a runner at home at one point. Cubs are doing a lot of winning. They have now uh, have not lost in over a week. Does this matter at all, or what are you taking away from their winning ways? You know, the Cubs haven't lost a game since Gerald Ford was playing football over at uh, Ann Arbor. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, no, <laughs> um, I don't really know how much it matters because this is by far the most spring training baseball I've ever consumed, so I don't really have much to compare it to. Yeah. But what I will say – is the team like the lineup they put out today? I think is going to be the opening day lineup. By the way, um, I in fact I'd wager a large amount of money on it. And really, yeah, I, I, we talked about it. I'd like to see Rios in there. Rios was in there. All right, let me see that. I uh, see it again. Okay, you see, you pull it up while I I, I, I talk. I thought, I, I think this team is one of those teams that looks better in person than it does on paper. And okay. we're going to talk about that a little bit later with the ratings and stuff. This isn't going to be a team. You know, the Angels have the top two guys in baseball. They never win anything. Th th right. this, this isn't a team that's built on superstars. It's built on depth. It's built on pitching. It's built on defense. It's built on a high floor. They have a lot of guys that can get you. Today, it wasn't Mantle and Maris, but it was, it was Bellinger and Barnhart. And and, ah. and, and, and you know, they're the Bash brothers. No, I'm, I'm kidding. But right, right. Every, well, we're having a good time. Every, no, but in all seriousness, I think it's going to be one of those teams where, you know, it's a bingo card of who, who gets the big hit. Right. And, you know, I don't like making this comparison because these are small market organizations, but I've said it on the show at least a half dozen times, and we'll make it a lucky number seven. The, 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 the Guardians of Cleveland. The Rays of Tampa Bay, right. it, it's it's built kind of like that team. Now, it's a separate conversation whether that's acceptable or not because sure. this is a big market team. But, guys, this is the hand that we're dealt. So I, I'm judging this team the way it's dealt. And the way it's dealt is a team that's going to play a lot of defense, win a lot of close games, and rely on that, uh, and, and pitching to be great. Now, I get Cleveland has Jose Ramirez, but overall, these guys, you know, Swanson's a guy, Horner's a guy, Hap's a guy. We hope Bellinger's a guy. Uh, Rios maybe a guy. You know, it's it's going to be a lot of 
you know, different contributors each day. It's not, it's not sexy, if you will. Yeah, for as much inconsistency as there will be in the lineup, you could still have you could still put a value on how they're doing day to day. Right. And of course, we're gonna look at the scoreboard because that's you know, that's it's professional sports, but right. I do think you're gonna have good a litany of people that are gonna contribute. And I, I do think that I have a small amount of significance in what they're doing. I can't call it zero as much as I would want to. In terms of the spring. Yeah. And I will admit that, yes, of course, doing this show now has impacted me as a fan. Yes. It's, it's made me more excited. It's made me more involved, which I've loved. And I, I do think the winning does matter a little. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay. I, it can't, I, I, I don't disagree. Yeah, I think it, it has to be a, a process. It's it's you're you're already in a mini grind. You know, you have players who are now shuttled off the WBC. You have some right. players that got sent down to minor league camp the other day. Um, so so there's there's turnover and there's progression. And I do think that eight wins is no small feat. You know, if it was okay, if it was the first streak, three wins in a row is a streak. It'd be like, all right, cool. But eight wins is a lot. And to it's do a it lot with so wins. many guys playing, and, and they did score a lot today. But if you look at, if you just go by the scoreboard, they they have done a lot of their winning so far, just like how we think it's going to go in the regular year. Yeah. and Pitching and, and defense. And a quick observation for me is, you want to know something crazy? A quick observation. I've become less of a fan since we've started this show in a good way because if I brought my full fandom enthusiasm, I'd be booted off the program. So I try and watch the game now as more of a professional like, 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 and, and try to keep even keel as opposed to what I normally do, as you know, you know, basically every other inning, either punch something or throw a celebration. Right. Well, uh, then you got to make a little adjustment. No, and I've, no, I've, 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 become, the adjustment is I've become less involved emotionally and more okay. involved mentally. And, and I'm going to do the opposite this year. No one, way. no one, you need to do the opposite. You need to crank it up a notch. You need to show more passion. Um, ah. you know, th this is your life. Um, but no, in all seriousness, right. I, uh, I agree. Time you've said that now, go I, ahead. I agree with you. I agree with you. Thank you so much. Because the way it, it, to me, when I watch them, the way they're, the way they're playing just looks like how they're good. You said it. It looks like how they're going to play in the regular season. Yeah. Can't, can't you just see a June afternoon at the friendly confines and we're, it's a Friday one twenty till, and we make like a joke up oh, Bellinger and, and Barnhart just went, went on to Sheffield Cubs win again, you know, be great. They're, they're going to skin the cat differently than a lot of teams. They're not going to be like Houston and just have all these studs everywhere. They're not going to be like the angels that have the two best players walking around the planet. That's fine. Um, you know, they're going to the think about way. baseball. What have the angels done? Well, and, that, and, and right. And that's, and again, I still think they should spend more and have more stars on their roster, but this isn't basketball. This doesn't mean, Oh, we got exactly. Michael, we got Michael and Scotty. Let's just get three guys around him and we're going to be great. No, right. it, it, you're, 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 you're just as good as your weakest link. And, and, and I think that they are, sorry, took a deep breath there. He looked like you're going to make an announcement. Tear down that wall, Mr. Gorbachev. No, no. <laughs> what do you think about the Cubs winning ways right now? Give us a call. 312-834-4634. We'd love to hear a uh, voicemail. We also take your text. So you think that uh, Magical is out now as of a couple episodes ago? Sorry, sorry for having Lemonade in the show. Throats a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, oh, was Magical not in the lineup today? <laughs> no. Oh, well, I, it, it, yeah, Porter, I, Swanson, Hap, Mancini, Bellinger. Wonder where we've seen that before. Maybe it was on this program. Hosmer, Wisdom, Rios, Barnhart. Yeah. So, so put sorry, put uh, Madrigal in for Wisdom, and I think that'll be in the lineup. Yeah, and uh, Rios DHing, Rios encouraging DHing. with some of the order there after the fifth spot. Well, yeah. Well, you we, they they you know I I'm convinced Jed watches our program. Uh, yeah, because, you know, all of a sudden you look up and Barnhart was deep in that nine hole. And by the way, he hit a homer in it. Right. 
Right, so good things did. I'm watching did Rios happen. closely, by the way, Matt. I know we talked about it yesterday, so I'm well, not. That's good. It. No, I'm watching him closely. I, I I didn't get a chance to watch today's affair, so I'll catch up on that this evening. Yeah, no, he's somebody to watch. What type of abs is he putting in? He walked today and, to a couple times, and what's, right? And what's the yeah? What's the what's the on base ratio? Okay, is he swinging and missing? Fine, but what's he doing the other times? Uh, you know, he might be a bash brother as well. Maybe they're going to start making posters. And do you uh, think Mark month. Leiter Jr. has an outside shot to make this roster, which would mean I'm alive? Oh, I, I think it's more than an outside shot. Because let me tell you real quick. Sorry. And man. his splits are really good lefty righty. Last year before the season, and, and, and I'm not going to give away my picks yet because I'm sure you're going to ask me this right. at some point before the season. But last year before the season on our old show, Matt asked me, hey, Give me two guys, one position player, one pitcher that you think are going to be key members to the Cubs that nobody's really talking about. And I went one for two. I said Hermosillo and Scott Efros. And the reason I – and I'm fine with, with, with my Hermosillo pick because he was very toolsy. And, and if you're going to have a great season, you need a guy that's toolsy to have right. a big year. And Rios has a big, a big tool, and it's power. And, and let's just say he's on my radar. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and he's on my sar- sonar as well. Okay. And, um, yeah, no, I, 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 we're definitely going to do those picks. Uh, listen, folks, the, the week of the first game is going to be just a giant week. I mean, we're going we're gonna to do it big that week. We're going to do it big this whole season. Right. You know, and I'm starting to sketch out some plans. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so make sure to spread the word as well. And, w- and will I be involved? Uh, yes, you will. Oh, okay. Right. Yes, I don't envision a path to me hosting solo. Well, yeah, uh, that's yeah. something I'm really interested in. Well, you could always, you know, you got a lot of friends, you know. MLB not counting the stats from the games against WC opponents, uh, WBC opponents towards the total spring stats. I don't like that. Just include it. Yeah. I don't need a separate averages in the box score Agreed. today. Agreed. That's a joke. That was obnoxious. Okay, I saw enough. Davis. I saw. I've checked the box. I saw Davis got a hit. He was hitting five hundred. I thought I missed. You know, I thought I was in a coma. I thought for we a missed week. a couple ABs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. No. Something right. Ian Happ and Nico Horner have been floated as possibly signing extensions before March thirty. We get into updates on them and lefty Zach Britton coming up next. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel, the number one sports book in America. And if you're new to FanDuel, that's even better. They have so many great features that make betting on sports fun and easy. New customers join today to get started with $150 in free bets guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Just sign up at FanDuel.com slash locked on. FanDuel has all your favorite bets from the money line, the point spreads, the player props. Plus, you can even combine your bets for a chance at a bigger payout with the same game parlay. We already mentioned it earlier in the program. Big 10 tournament this week. It started Wednesday evening and goes through Sunday. A lot of great lines on those games, and they're changing every second with uh, different playing games and people with buys. Uh, So a lot of great action in college hoops at the United Center in Chicago uh, this week. This is all on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use, so don't miss out. Place your first $5 bet to get $150 in free bets, win or lose, at FanDuel.com slash LockedOn. Make every moment more with FanDuel, the official sportsbook partner of Locked On Cubs. Welcome back to Locked On Cubs. Thanks for making us your first listen every day. Ian Happ is a free agent after this season, and Nico Horner is a free agent after 2025. Would highly encourage you if this is your first time joining us or you joined us recently go back to the archives dip dip your toe in there uh check out our episode on Hap and horner um and, and catch up on all our episodes uh up to this point three weeks to go to opening day there is unfortunately no update on the possibility of an extension for either player this was revealed by ian Hap, who was interviewed the other day Hap told MLB.com, Chicago's the place that is home for me and the only thing that I've ever known. As a player who's only known this, you feel pretty at home in the organization and with the group. It would be weird to wear another jersey. I would love to stay here 
and I would love to be a part of the next great Cubs team, but we'll see, close quote. If there's no extension before uh, a few weeks away, Sam, I don't think there's going to be one. Jed Hoyer's already on, the, all all but on the record for that. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I'm just not that bothered by it. I just, yeah, I, I, we, we covered it. I just don't, I, the, whole, the neither one of them really upsets me that much. I, I think Horner eventually will be extended. Uh, Ian Happ, I don't think will be. I think he'll be wearing a different uniform next year. Uh, the Horner thing's different because I, I see a lot of people posting like, I get why you're not uh, uh, extending Happ because he's going to be asking for, let's say, you know, he deserves about Suzuki money. And why would you give Suzuki money when you already have Suzuki and some guys, whatever. But Horner's only asking for, you know, 70, 80 million. Well, you don't know that. You don't know what he's asking for. No. Um, he's under club control for a while. They'll extend him. Trust me, three more not, years. Yeah, they're not going to let Nico Horner walk unless th- th- something drastic happens. Expect now that Ian Happ will be wearing a different jersey next year, and be surprised if he isn't. Would be my best advice. I, I, I think that's true. And uh, one player the Cubs could still sign uh, prior to opening day is lefty Zach Britton. Patrick Mooney of the Athletic wrote that the Cubs are still in on Britton, who remains unsigned and the athletic got a quote from Trey Mancini who was a teammate of Britain's with the Orioles Mancini said he'd be a huge asset to whoever signs him and I hope it's us us meaning the Cubs uh Mancini went on to say Britain taught him a lot when he came up and would like to see him uh on a comeback tour of sorts uh so Zach Britain you know still out there the holdup is definitely the contract language sam i think right he had an expectation when free agency began versus you know maybe the winter meetings and then of course now um you know what type of deal did he want to sign and then what's the language that the cubs or another team are going to provide whether that's guarantees non-guarantees incentives built in maybe even a 2024 option so I, I still would – we talked about Britain on Monday. I yeah. still would like to to see the Cubs sign him. You mean too. Although we're getting to a spot in the calendar where I think he would probably remain at Sloan for another week or two. Yeah, this is the part of the game I just don't quite understand, and I think it just shows the nuances and how detailed every contract is because mm-hmm. for my chair – it's like what? What's the holdup with Britain? It's a two million dollar guy. Uh, it, right. it, it just I don't I don't understand why it takes so long for you know with all due respect to him a fairly inconsequential addition uh, to, to get signed. He, you know I don't know. I thought right. he'd be signed by now because if I were him, I'd want to be. You just said it. I want to be get pitching. going. Yeah, but exactly, he needs to get going. He, he's an injury prone guy that needs to get going. Uh, but. I still think it's it's wise for the Cubs to sign him. Gives you some insurance there, some lefty insurance, and and a guy with some upside. And maybe if you're not playing well, a guy that you could flip at the deadline, like Robertson. And there's there, there's a lot of reasons to sign him. So hopefully they do. I just I just don't understand how, how long it could. What is he What is he negotiating? Does he want a farm? I mean, what does he want at his house? It's a suite, a suite yeah, at Wrigley. I, I don't understand. It's two million bucks. I mean, for these guys, that's like uh, you know a McChicken. <laughs> right, right. And and I would think that he signs somewhere by the end of the week. It would be kind of comical at that point. Yeah, you know? No, well, I think it's there already. I, I'm i laughing. Well, yeah, so uh, we'll keep our – And our the Badgers of Wisconsin will be playing in the NIT. Oh, wow. Yeah, they didn't have a great, great campaign. No, and it makes me happy to say that. Any video game fans in the house? MLB no. The Show oh. released their team rankings. <laughs> right. On Wednesday, and also the top five players for each team, we break down how the Cubs are rated coming up next. Welcome back to Locked On Cubs. Thanks for making us your first listen. We're, of course, in your ears, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, and more. And please remember, folks, on Apple and Spotify uh, to click the follow button. That helps us in the rankings. Uh, So not only download and listen to us every day, but please make sure uh, that you're followed Uh, to the show. We greatly appreciate that. MLB The Show 2023 released their rankings on Wednesday, and the Cubs 
slotted in at 21st. Overall, Sam, they have a 22. Uh, so the other rankings, 22nd in contact, 15th in power, 23rd in pitching, 15th in speed, and 7th in defense. This is, of course, <laughs> the video game variety. Mm. And the top five players in their ratings, Swanson, 88, Horner, 82, Stroman, 80, Tyone, 79. And Patrick Wisdom fifth with a 77 <laughs> rating. And this is part of the fun of having a daily Cubs program, of course, is that we could talk some video games. So, can, you know, I, I think the question is for me, you know, where does the video game and reality line up? Because <laughs> No, finish your thought. Finish your thought. It's um, this is you know, awesome. The Cubs twenty first, which is similar to where they've been in the, these preseason power rankings as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Look, I'm gonna cut you off, man. Um, <laughs> you uh -huh. can. Uh, um, I don't care what the, what the video game creator thinks of this team. Um, you could MMWT. Miss me with that. <laughs> sure. Look, I just said it. I just said it in the first. Oh, segment. that's a. I, you, I haven't heard that expression. In it's a while. not going to be a team that that <laughs> rates well in video games. It's not going to be a team right. that 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 preseason wise is high in the power rankings. Check where the Giants were in the video games in the show before the twenty one right, season. Right. Right. No, that's a good point. It's a team that is complementary, meaning. Their defense is going to help their offense. Their offense, they're, they're going to play uh, uh, tight games. They're going to be a third. If they're successful, they're going to be a 35 and 25 team with a very small run differential because they win close games. They need to be managed well. They need to do the fundamentals well. <laughs> None of that stuff uh, uh, raises high for a uh, 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 mark. That's in his, you know, still living well, with his grandparents in his basement. No, don't do that. And it, and it, don't and do it's, that. You know, drinking his lemonade like me and saying, <laughs> Ma, Grandma, we put the Cubs 21st. What do you think? Well, that's nice that he's with his grandparents. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You know, make a, go make a living, Mark. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. We're going to edit that out. I'm kidding. Uh Yeah, no, I, I, I think that the video game doesn't take into account, you know. A that, lot that Barnhart might hit a two run blast, <laughs> you know? I mean, I don't know if, if I were making a video game, I, I'd probably have them, I don't know, right in the middle of the pack. So a little bit better than that. Uh, with, with, with the, if there was an, uh, with an option for a few more wins, I mean, we've talked about it, right? It's right. It is what it is. I mean, in terms of their rankings that they just got the rankings wrong. Uh, there's, there's no question about that. Swanson fine. Uh, I, 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 where was Hap? Where was Hap? How is how is Wisdom ahead of Suzuki? And, and, and Hap's not even on here. Yeah, so so Wisdom's a better player than Hap and Suzuki now, and this is what we're supposed to take seriously. Uh, Wisdom's a higher rated player than Steele. Tyone went fourteen and five last year at Yankee Stadium. What's he rated? A fifty. Uh, 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 w w where is the wisdom rating coming from? Probably because of the power. You know what I mean? Right, it he just hits home no, run. Yeah, it makes no sense is what it does. Uh, so You know what does make sense? Us doing this show. And make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. Da -da -da. Please hit the like button to help out the algorithm and uh, drop us a text or leave us a voicemail, 312-834-4634. Four six three four. Thanks for making us your first listen every day. Now make your second listen. Locked on fantasy baseball winter league by listening to Matt and Dom every day as they bring you the best fantasy draft strategies. I need to get my keepers in here in a week or so for my league, and Matt and Dom uh, could help you with that. Locked on fantasy baseball available on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast. He's Sam Olber. I'm Matt Cozy. This has been Locked On Cubs.